Right, so let's still stay on the roads and the Borga Bongo Road in the Borgatanga Municipal District of the Upper East Region is in a sorry state. Residents say the bad nature of the road is negatively affecting economic activities. They also claim reconstruction work on the stretch is endangering lives. Listo Welakwes reports. The Bolga Bongo Road is a 22.8 kilometer auxiliary stretch connecting sparsely dotted communities and villages in the Upper East Region to the capital town Bolgatanga. The road is very dusty in Soy, a suburb of Bolgatanga, and motorists applying the Bolga Bongo stretch suffer the most. Portions of the road has potholes, while the construction of a drainage system has altered with some buildings along the stretch covered in dust. According to residents, the pothole-ridden portions of the road were graded for reconstruction over two months ago, but it appears the project engineers have abandoned work. The road engineer, who is expected to water the stretch twice daily, do not do that. Some motorists the news crew interacted with disclosed the dusty nature of the stretch spells the danger when trucks and tankers access the route. For motorists applying the stretch at night, visibility remains a challenge due to the lack of street lights. But when you are on this road, you can't even see where you are going because of the dust. They started this road since long ago and until date they have not finished. People are suffering, businesses are collapsing because of that. The road is very bad. We need them to come to our aid. Economic activities have come to a standstill and numerous capital intensive businesses such as pubs, local restaurants, boutiques and stationery shops have been forced to close down. Because of the dust, I've left the place. I can't sit, I'm fairly close. If you are sitting down, you see the dust will be entering you inside. You can't sit. You have to leave the store. So you have to try and come and do it for us. If not that, oh, it's disaster. Food vendors and traders in perishable goods hinted they are losing out on everything supporting their livelihoods, including health security. It's not easy for us at all. If he's the contractor, he should see to it that he'll pay the contractor so that he will do that and we'll all be free. If not, he's just killing us. He's killing us. We can't sit here. You can't do anything. Many residents along the stretch who spoke to TV3 complained of various respiratory infections and stated that motorists speeding daily on the stretch complicates their health situation. They called for some relief from government for economic activities to bounce back.